What's up? My name is Sean Cook. I'm 28 years old. I live in a small town called Castle Rock, Washington, uh, not far from Portland, Oregon. Um, recently submitted an idea for a tattoo to the LA Ink website and uh, was asked to submit a casting video, so I suppose this is my casting video. Um, I should probably start, I guess, with the idea of the tattoo that I have. Um, I have a very rough sketch of, of what I want. Um, not a very, I'm not a very good artist, so bear with me. Uh, the idea is kind of, I guess, the epic battle between light and dark, or the eternal battle between the moon and the sun. Uh, and it is just that, the moon and the sun fighting. Um, I'm looking for something very bright, very animated, lots of character in the faces, uh, lots of emotion from them. Um, I have several ideas, I guess, for the layout of both of them. Um, the moon, I've kind of thought of either having puffed up cheeks, blowing a big uh, billow of wind at the sun, kind of like this, as you can see. Uh, I've also thought of having the moon throwing a star at the sun, uh, or being like a crescent moon, maybe, and having like a chunk missing out of him, out of his head, and having him throw a piece of cheese at the sun. Uh, the sun itself, um, either like a big fiery flaming bullwhip, or throwing a ball of fire, or... Uh, Basically, whatever the artist think would probably fit into the tattoo the best or, or work the best. Um, those are just kind of some some guidelines, I guess. But I want to have the uh, whatever mode of attack, I suppose, that they're using, hitting in the middle, making a big explosion of color, um, little stars and maybe planets flying out all over the place. Uh, um, just kind of a, a, a no-winner um, kind of battle, I suppose. Uh, to me, I guess it kind of signifies balance um it, something that uh, i've always tried to have in my life is balance no matter what i do um whether it be uh work and play love and hey i mean for the most part you know uh just a, a a motto of life i suppose um i got the first uh, the idea uh for the tattoo first um uh when i was about 18 probably uh my house burnt down um and uh, me and my brother kind of moved out, and it was in a time in my life where a lot of stuff was going really good um, with sports and academics and, and just stuff like that that was going on. And, and uh, then our house burnt down, uh, which is obviously something bad. So me and my brother moved out on our own and stayed with some friends for a little while. And, and it's, it just kind of started this, this theme. Uh, you know, as you step back and kind of reflect on life, um, every, every big horrible shitty event that you go through you know you kind of go through uh positive events you know and, and that was something that i kind of reflected back on a lot I actually have a newspaper article that right there that's my house this is from uh monday april 12th 1999 the day after my house burnt down that's my house right there um it, it kind of had uh uh, more of this seemed to happen through the years and, and also just, you know, recently uh, ended a relationship, an eight and a half year relationship with my girlfriend. Um, she cheated on me, which is obviously another one of those bad cycles through life. Um, but, you know, it is. It's It kind of just grounds you a little bit. It reminds you that everything, you know, what goes around comes around. Everything that's good has a bad. Everything that's bad has a good. And as long as you can hold on to the good things and, and allow the bad things to kind of to slide past and not affect you as much, I think you'll make it, you know, I think you can get through this life, uh, enjoying yourself, um, you know, just surrounding yourself with more of the good instead of the bad, and I think that tattoo is kind of a cool reminder of that, you know, it, it's, uh, it's never as good as it seems, it's never as bad as it seems, um, so I guess, you know, without getting all, uh, uh, philosophical on you, you know, it just, it's just a good way of, of keeping yourself true, you know, keeping yourself on the straight and narrow, making sure that you don't sway either way because neither side will win. It's just what works for you the best, I suppose. Um, I hope that kind of explains a little bit better of, of, of what I want. Um, I've been several places to actually get the tattoo done. I've had a couple artists do their own rendition, of, you know, bring in a sketch or, or sit with them while they kind of uh, go through and I've actually gotten an argument with one guy. He said that it couldn't be done. It can't. It can't be drawn. Period. And, and uh, they have to have torsos and they have to have bodies. And then, uh, and he did a sketch and he made 
everything just look real real evil and violent. And I, that's not what I want. I kind of want more like the Heckle and Jekyll or the Tom and Jerry theme, you know, where it's it's mischievous but not sinister, not evil. It's just very, it's very, uh, I want a tattoo I can show my mom, if that makes any sense, I guess. Lots of color, uh, lots of vibrant, you know, so I want something that a tattoo when somebody looks at it, it's going to be original, something that nobody else has. And something that people will think is cool, you know, and, and something that, that I can appreciate myself for the art. Um, I guess in the email that I got, it said to uh, to say what I, I, I just uh, planned on spending on the tattoo as far as monetarily, I guess money-wise. Um, you know, I don't know. That's probably, I don't have, I don't have any tattoos. I'm assuming that's going to be like a four to eight hour tattoo. You can do the math, so I'm probably guessing on spending a thousand to two thousand dollars. The way I look at it, it's probably worth it. Um, I've seen the work that you, that your artists do on the show, Corey and, and Kat, and, and and all the other artists that you guys have actually had, and uh, it's amazing. I haven't, I haven't seen people, at least in my area, that have been able to do anything remotely close to that. So I would much rather spend the money on having a good tattoo that I want to have for the rest of my life than than spending you know a couple hundred bucks less or 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 sh shit even half the money and wanting to have the thing taken off in six months I'm gonna spend way more money to get the tattoo taken off than I am uh, just initially getting the tattoo that I want so figure as long as I can get the tattoo that I want and, and and you guys can help me with that then you know it's money well spent so I wouldn't worry too much about the money uh, as far as that goes but uh Oh, I was just supposed to show you where the tattoo is. I want to get it. Uh, I was thinking kind of like, you know, uh, a full upper back piece. Uh, sun on my right shoulder, moon on the left. I'm kind of open to, to whatever that needs to be as far as what you guys need to be to fit. I guess I can show you what I have to work with here. There's my back. Sun over here. Moon over there. Full upper back piece. Maybe even have some of the color carry down in the middle of my back. Um, I probably want to lose a couple of pounds before I head down there, so I fit in with all the the beautiful people in LA. But uh, that'll be that'll be my issue and not yours, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys consider me for the show. Uh, I hope it's a tattoo that your your artists feel capable of doing and something that they would want to do. I want somebody that's going to be as passionate about doing that tattoo as I am about having the tattoo uh, and 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 doing a good job on it. So hopefully I'll hear back from you guys soon. If I don't, I understand. If I do, awesome. We'll see you guys in L.A. Can't wait to see some sunshine. Talk to you guys later.